We have two very different beers to try this week. In 1979, a gentleman named Ken Grossman decided he was going to open up his own brewery. And that is what is today the Sierra Nevada Brewery. You're going to love this story. Ken's initial brewery was all used equipment. And it wasn't necessarily brewing equipment. No, Ken went and found what he needed even in the dairy industry. Because, of course, they used stainless steel also. Well, it wasn't soon after opening the brewery that it started to make a name for itself. And Ken traveled all the way over to Germany and ended up coming home with an all-copper 100-barrel brewing system. Well, believe it or not, they outgrew that system and they hired the same craftsman to make another complete copper brewing system for them. Sierra Nevada has made a name for themselves throughout the United States and today we're going to be trying their Autumn Brown. And as you can see, it's a beautiful color. Oh! Lovely head. And it's a delightful beer. One of the things I think Sierra Nevada is most known for is their beers are hoppy. So if you're a hop head, you just love Sierra Nevada beers. It has a lovely floral fragrance. You saw how beautiful the head was. Mm. And I'm not a real hop person. But the balance of hops with the malt in this one is delightful. I personally don't care much for their IPA, but I certainly would drink their Autumn Brown again. You might want to give that a try. Our second beer we're going to try is from clear around the world into Belgium. And it's a Trappist Ale. And a Trappist Ale is basically an ale that is controlled by the exact designs of the monks that originated this. And they still are producing it today. Let's get this baby open and have a taste of it. Oh, it's already excited itself. You can see it is much lighter. It is a lovely pale ale. You'll also notice that it is not clear. It's unpasteurized. And its filtering is only done before fermentation. So it has a bit of cloudiness to it. Oh, the smell is magnificent. I tell you, the malts are just heavenly. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is mmm. This is a delicious, delicious beer. The hops are just perfectly balancing the malt. It is, oh, this is, del <laughs> I'm excited. So now, the Sierra Nevada has a, an IBU of about 35 and an alcohol content of about 5.5%. The Trappist, I have no idea what the IBUs are in it. I couldn't find out, but I do know it's a 9% alcohol, and it is delightful. I think you'll find both beers to be very good. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to give Sierra Nevada two thumbs up. I'm going to give the Trappist Belgium three thumbs up. Delicious beer, but both of them are very good. Give them a try. I think you will enjoy them.